Yo, thank everybody for watching. Thank you guys out there. You know I like to start my videos off just like that. I like to thank everybody for their time. Even if it's just a few minutes, because again, you could be anywhere right now, but you're right here with me. So thank you guys for watching. First and foremost, man, if y'all don't know, we are, we are approaching that day, man. We're approaching that Jolly Green Day. It's almost St. Patrick's Day, right? So I felt like, you know what? Let me hit them with a St. Patrick's edition of JFK's Way. And uh, if you're not familiar with me, man, get familiar. I'm in the very, very fly, fashionable, fitted stuff you just don't see every day. And um, today, man, I'm just explaining that. I'm showing you guys a little briefing on one of my favorite colors, man. If, you don't, if you're not familiar with me, my favorite color is actually green. Next, of course, just how I grew up, green, red. And purple those are my, my three favorite shades in the color spectrum right well today of course like i said it's almost st patrick's day so we go to jump straight into a little clip right here i got another clip behind me you guys see what i'm doing man and the crazy thing is like i said it's my favorite shade everything i'm gonna show you though none of these hats match with what i got on it's one of them shades man green is so hard to match and coordinate perfectly right so let's jump straight into it man this right here is a very special hat uh, to me, it ain't nothing crazy, nothing over the top, but it's palm trees, man. It's some palm trees, right? So I, um, I actually took a flight last year for my birthday. I uh, went to Myrtle Beach, as you guys see. That's what the MB is for. I went to Myrtle Beach, and I picked this up. There was a wall of stuff I could have picked up, but, of course, I walked away with, with that gang ring, man. That gang ring. So uh, some of you new kids call these black nasties. Ain't nothing nasty about this black. It's just clean. It's, it's fresh. You know what I'm saying? One of those pieces, and uh, you, you just don't see every day, right? First and foremost... Unless you're in Myrtle Beach, I'm sure, and you're looking for hats. Uh, the next one, now um, I'm also going to do something today that I've never, ever done. I'm going to show you guys a hat that I don't own, right? It's something off my phone that I do not own, but I wish I seen a lot more of. And I'm going to elaborate on that when I say I don't really collect the buy alphabet hats, right? This right here is another minor league team. This is called the Clinton Lumber Kings. Now, this hat is old. When I say old, it's over a decade old. Uh, shout out to my boy, Wad. I gave my boy, Wad. I had both versions of this hat. At the time, there were two versions of this. There's this version. There's an all-black version. Now, at that time, they were really, really pushing these cool base brims a lot, right? Like, I guess to hit the from the sun rays hitting and keeping heat in your hat, it was something particular about the material of the hat, right? But long story short, you got to see how old it is. I can't even tell you the price tag or nothing because it's faded off. But uh, And I'm going get to get to what I came to get to real quick. I'm going to show you guys on my phone here. I'm going to show you exactly what I was talking about. Now, this hat... This is what I just showed you, but it's just a different alternate version of it. Now, of course, you know, me playing for the red team most of my life, I, I just love this. Again, something that you don't see every day. That's why I say rarity over popularity, man. Same logo, same logo, right? But a different variation of the hat. On top of that, you see that side patch, something you don't see every day, Midwest League. I'm not from the Midwest, so I wouldn't rock that, right? And pff, that UV, that UV is fire. That's the undervisor. If you don't know what a, what a UV stands for, that's the undervisor. If you guys see, this was a 4th of July edition, clearly. So, uh, Star Spangled Banner, Stars and Stripes. But Palm Trees and Clinton Lumber Kings, man, and, and, and Rockies. Now, this hat was directly a St. Patrick's Day edition. I'm actually getting rid of this. I got this as a gift a few years back. Uh, I no longer talk to the person that gifted to me, and I no longer uh, collect the Rockies. I was collecting Rocky hats for a very short period of time, so I had a few Rockies. Uh, this right here is a St. Patrick's Day edition, never worn, mesh material, very, very light, um, cl classic clean, classic clean with that with the color of gray. You see that line, that liner right there. This is icy, man. This is definitely icy and super, super rare. I'll be honest. I got over 100 hats easy. I don't know how many hats I got. I don't count my hats. Um, I have well over 100 hats. I surpassed that years ago. I've never seen a liner like this. I'll be absolutely honest with you. Uh, I've never sold it. So uh, I've never seen it before. And if I sell it, great. If I don't, hey, that new Everstown sticks out pretty good. I love that. Now, um, my history just in life, man, I grew up and spent a lot of my time in the O. So my high school, do your homework. You can literally do your background check and do your homework on me. Jones High School is one of the most classic, most legendary, and most predominantly black schools in Florida, right? This right here was our was our colors. Not only was this our colors, this was our shades, but this was also actually our logo. We had a tiger. Not this exact tiger, but we were Jones High Tigers. So this is a counterpart, of course, of what I'm wearing. This is the, the Detroit Tigers, but you guys see the shades and you see what's going on, man. And like I said, cross-reference this. Rewind. Do a recap. Every hat I'm showing you, all these different, different shades of green, none of them match what I got on. Trust me, because I tried. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's the Detroit Tigers hat right there for whatever reason. They made the 
the UV olive green. I don't know where the hell they got an olive green from on the, don't ask me, don't ask me. I've worn this a handful of times, if that. Sadly enough, as you guys see, they blended that new era logo, and you know how I feel about that already. But just because, again, it was a tiger, you see why I bought it, right? You see why, do your homework, you see why I picked it up? Now this next one also, again, same same thing, man, same page, two-tone, two-tone green, black, but the UV on this one is red. Now this, Kissimmee, uh, Florida, as you guys see, this is Kissimmee Cobras. This team, Kissimmee's not even an hour away from the O. So being it's so close, again, so close to home, I love this logo. Something you don't see all the time. This back was really, really fired in me. I felt like this was well done. So you see that dancing. You see that shit be dancing. I just love how this came out. But for whatever reason, this hat is an odd hat. I uh, also hate that they blended the New Era logo. It just don't fit me right, so I don't never really wear it. This next one, man, again, the two tones, man. The, the green crown and the black brim. But this is a corduroy brim, as you guys can see. It's also a corduroy button at the top. You see the button at the top is corduroy as well. This is a special piece, man. This is a special, special piece. And shouts out to the man who created this. I actually uh, know him. His name is the numerical one. You guys check him out on Instagram. He actually designed this hat. Uh, his name is the numerical one. As you guys see the shades on this side, I kept this pin. I picked this one up uh, at exclusive fittings in Queens. This is in Queens, New York. One, you know, I'm a frequent New Yorker, man. I visit New York very frequently. Crazy enough, 2024, I haven't been as much as I would want to, but we're getting back to it, man. I promise you, we're getting back to it. But you see the pen go perfect. It go perfect. Do your homework. That blue at the bottom, like it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be at the bottom. If you're going to have the blue, got to be at the bottom. So my man, Numerical One, shouts out to him, man. He a legend out here making some of these crazy, crazy fly fittings. Um, I'm going to jump. Speaking of legends making fittings, I showed you guys this recently. This hat. I need gloves on or something, bro. I, <clears throat> excuse me. This hat is so... Oh my God. I had somebody in my comments that tell me it was trash. So, shouts out to him. Like I said, I take on all, all criticism. It don't matter whether it's good, whether it's bad. I'm optimistic, bro. I like people's opinion. But again, rock what you like. You see what I'm saying? Do what you like, not the hype. You see what I'm saying? Like, that, that's just how I feel about shit. Again, rarity over popularity. This is not a hat you're going to walk everywhere and see. But this is, as you guys see, also a St. Patrick's Edition hat. So do your homework. I'm giving y'all the St. Patrick's edition, bro. Do your background on what I told. I'm doing doing y'all justice. I'm giving y'all the St. Patrick's Day edition. I had to pull out the St. Patrick piece. I had to. I'm doing things I never done. I'm showing you guys a hat back to back for one. I'm showing you guys sit on my phone that I don't own. But this is just clean, man. Like, come on, the metallicness of how this is dancing like this. Come on, man. Come on. So let's go back in the bag, though. This is one of them pieces. I had to pull this out for y'all. I done shot this video like three times. I'm like, damn. Had to edit, had to edit, had to edit. It's, <laughs> so hopefully this is my final time going through all of this. But uh, just to recap, man, just to recap, y'all see what I got. And this ain't all my green hats. These are just some of my favorite green hats. Let's, 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 let's get on that. Also, I can't go without showing y'all this. I just thought about that. Y'all see, I'm pulling it right out. I had what I was going to do for the video up here. But y'all see, man, look. Oh, my God. Oh my, this is too official. And I tell you, this is official. This is too official. That's official. The pinkies, you know, everybody in America was chasing these for a while. If you had a pink bottom, you was everything. Everybody wanted a pink bottom, pink bottom. It's the pink bottom, man. They did these originally for cancer, to support cancer and show love. So, shouts out to all the cancer survivors and anybody that knows somebody with cancer. But that was originally why the guy Pink Bottom just did the pink bottoms. So, but this hat, this logo was discontinued. You can no longer make these. They no longer use these. So as you see, again, close, but this ain't nothing I'm showing you is going to match what I got on, right? Let's jump straight to it. We're going to get to the last bits of these, man, and I'm going to let you guys go. I'm watching the timer right here on my clock. This right here was from a company. This is over 10 years old, too. I've never worn this hat. Literally over 10 years, I've never worn this hat. This is from a company called All Out Foul, I believe. I don't even think they make hats no more, <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. But this was the logo they was using for a while. They did a few different color schemes on this one, but again, it was green. This one caught my eye. I loved it, that new era sign sticking out. And you see it dancing. You see it dancing. You listen, if you a lady and you, you watching this, your boyfriend ain't got this. Your boyfriend don't even know what the fuck this is right now. You see what I'm saying? Like, just different. I ain't saying I'm better. I'm just different. That's all I'm going to tell you. So the next one, listen, I was on a bird run for a minute. I was shouting out a couple guys that was my bird bros because we was all picking up bird hats at the, at the time. But I wasn't, I'm from another era. Boy, I promise you, this right here was from an overseas company. I cannot tell you what company it was because it just says New Arrow on the bottom.
But as you guys said, speaking of the bottom, let's touch on that. Let's start there. The UV is army fatigue. Why? I don't know. I ain't, I ain't figured it out. I don't know why it's army fatigue. The liner is black, right? But I always felt like this was like an albino bird because the bird was white and he got red feet. So I felt like he was dancing and stepping in blood. I always love this one, right? But as you see, STL, I got over 15 Cardinals hats, over 15. And this is the only one I've ever picked up that had STL even on the back. So it was crazy. I feel like this was meant to happen. Red at the top like it's supposed to be, right? Now, I don't know what you're thinking. Did he just show me that? Did he? Just, I did not. Very, very similar, but I did not. Like I said, I'm a frequent New Yorker, man. I'm a frequent New Yorker. I go to New York all the time. This right here. I picked up in uh, in the South Bronx. I got this from a store called Diallo's in the South Bronx. Last time I was there, they did not have any more of these. But you see, this is a 64 side patch. You see the bird got lime green, red UV, white liner. This next one I'm going to show you guys. I know. I know what you're thinking, but they are not alike. They aren't. I'm very similar, I know. But look, the greens are even two different shades. The bat, this bat is like a silver metallic bat. You dance a little bit. 67 side patch, not a 64 side patch, so it is a difference. It's a 67 side patch on that one. And this one, I'm glad I turned around to look. This one I actually picked up, I think this was from Explosive Fittings as well. You see that 67? This shit dance. I can't even lie to you. See how it's that metallic gold, but this is also a 67 side patch. This is not a 64, but out of all three of those, right? Crazy thing is, three of the three hats. Three same logos, three different alterations. All of them chose to blend the New Era logo. And these were all released in different times of life. Why? I don't know, bro. I don't know what's going on. These reds are actually two different reds. They're close, but they're different. And, of course, this one has the blue at the bottom. But it danced. It danced off right. Black liner. So I'm getting down to my last few, the last ones I came to show you guys. You guys see what's right here. The rare, the most talked about, some of the most hunted, some of the most hated. Some of the most expensive resale hats out there will be till this day Cleveland Indians. I said some of y'all. Don't come in my comments talking crazy like Buddy Ass was talking about. That's a whack hat. Don't come talking about, no, it ain't. I didn't say it's the most reselled or the highest. I said it's one of. You look at the prices for Cleveland Indian hats, and you're not going to see this one. You're not going to see none of the ones I'm showing you guys, but you see that new era sign stick out. Rarity over popularity. Again, I'm just from a different time frame. Don't be mad at me because I got some shit you don't want to see. I'm saying some shit you don't agree with. But this right here, the price tag was $34.99 at the time. And now hats are $65, 60 sometimes $70, depending on where you at. So we're getting down to the itty gritty, y'all. I'm just going to show y'all these all at the same time. Because some of these joints is. But again, you see each one of these, right? What, what you see does the, the new era sign stick out, right? Now, this one right here, this is this is my baby, but I love this. This is one of the last ones I got when I was collecting. I actually retired. Um, now, currently, I'm retired. But right now, this hat right here, this is supposed to be like this. Because you see how the Indian is, right? So don't be mad. I can't be mad that this is blended because it's supposed to. This whole hat, nothing about this hat stood out other than it being an Indian. It was all green from the gate, so I got to be happy about the green. But I'm going to leave y'all with that, man. Thank you guys for watching. That time has been taken. I've been watching it myself. But thank you guys for watching. Peace and love. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. I know some of you guys, some of the guys are coming my DMs on Instagram, which is cool. I appreciate y'all anyway. I appreciate the, the love. And y'all even saying anything. But uh, definitely catch me in the comments. Let me know what you want to see next. Peace and love. And as always, I will catch you on the next one.